The overall goal of this procedure is to monitor neuronal activity by calcium imaging simultaneously with observation of feeding behavior. This is accomplished by first inserting a fly into the fly's apparatus. Next, the fly head is dissected to expose the brain. The fly's apparatus with the dissected fly is then positioned on the microscope stage. The final step of the procedure is stimulation of proboscis with a sugar wick. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show activation of an identified neuron through calcium imaging correlated to proboscis extension through videotaping of behavior. I first had the idea for this method when I thought about eyes of weeding beetles which swim on the surface of the water. Weeding beetles have split eyes and can see both above and below the surface of water. A tricky point of my experiment is that the brain and the proboscis are close to each other. But if they are separated nicely, like eyes of weeding beetles, we can keep the proboscis dry while the brain is exposed in the cell. This I made a very thin partition just above the proboscis to separate the dry face from the wet face. Shape a platform from the lid of a 35 mm falcon dish by melting the sidewall and carving it to form an appropriate angle and thickness. Drill a hole in the platform to accept the fly head, such that the mouth parts are freely exposed to the outside of the chamber. Cut the end of a pipette man tip just wide enough to accept the fly's body, and then glue the tip to the platform. <laughs>